Hi, my name is Mike Barr. I'm a science researcher at World Book, and I'm here to talk to you about Allosaurus. Allosaurus lived about 150 million years ago. Most known Allosaurus fossils have been found in the plains of North America, but other fossils have been found in Portugal that probably also belong to Allosaurus. So how was Allosaurus able to live in such a wide range of places? Well, it's important to remember that the continents on Earth change positions over time. Where a continent is located now is not where a continent was located in the past. Through a process called continental drift, the Earth's continents are constantly moving relative to each other. They move at relatively slow speeds, generally only a few inches or centimeters per year. However, over the course of millions of years, the continents can end up in very different geographical arrangements. Beginning several hundred million years ago, a series of collisions between smaller land masses began to form a supercontinent called Pangaea. Pangaea contained nearly all of Earth's land in a single continuous body. It was made up of two larger connected land masses. There was a southern region called Gondwana or Gondwana land, and a northern region called Laurasia. Gondwana land included what are now Africa, Antarctica, Australia, India, and South America. Laurasia consisted of what are now Asia, Europe, and North America. Pangaea began to break up about 200 million years ago, and Laurasia separated from Gondwana land. However, during the time Allosaurus lived, Laurasia was still intact, directly connecting what is now North America and what is now Europe. So it's not surprising that fossils of a successful dinosaur group like Allosaurus could be found in different parts of Laurasia. It's possible that scientists might find more Allosaurus fossils elsewhere in what was once Laurasia. If Allosaurus did range throughout much of Laurasia, it was in part because Allosaurus was what scientists call an apex predator. That means once Allosaurus grew to adult size, it faced no threats from other predators. In other words, Allosaurus was at the top of its food chain. It ate different kinds of animals, but nothing ate it. Given its size, that should come as no surprise. Adult Allosaurus dinosaurs were huge. They could reach over 30 feet or nine meters long and weigh over two tons. They had dozens of sharp teeth and strong arms with large curved claws the longest of which could reach 10 inches, or 25 centimeters, in length. In many ways, Allosaurus was a lot like Tyrannosaurus. Although Tyrannosaurus lived nearly 100 million years later, the dinosaurs had very similar builds, and both were very large, powerful, meat-eating dinosaurs that ruled their environments. In fact, in the past, many scientists thought Allosaurus was an ancestor of Tyrannosaurus. However, scientists now know that they are not closely related. Allosaurus belonged to a group of dinosaurs called Carnosaurs, while Tyrannosaurus belonged to a group of dinosaurs called Coelurosaurs. Both groups were bipedal, usually meat-eating dinosaurs, but Coelurosaurs as a group developed certain structural and anatomic features that birds have today. So as strange as it may seem, one of the most important ways that Tyrannosaurus differed from Allosaurus is that Tyrannosaurus was more bird-like. 